Hi, this is question 5 from the AQA Core 1 January 2012 exam paper. For the first part of this video, I'd like you to have a go at trying the question yourself. So if you'd like to pause the video now and have a go at the question. Okay, for the next part of the video, I'm going to give you a hint as to how you can go about answering the question. So we're given that the polynomial um, is x cubed plus cx squared plus dx take away 12 where c and d are constants and we're told that um, if we divide this polynomial by x plus 2 the remainder is negative 150 and we need to try and show this equation here so using the remainder theorem and the remainder theorem states that um, if this is um, if I put in well, if that's x plus 2, I put in negative 2 into this function here. The remainder should be a um, negative 150. So we can use that information to see if we can get this equation. Part b says that x subtract 3 is a factor of this function. So um, if it's a factor, that means that there won't be a remainder, or the remainder would be 0. So you want to use a similar idea as you did before to see if you can come up with another equation involving C and D. Finally, for part C, um, you want to use those two equations and by the looks of it, we're going to have two equations and two unknowns. So think about how you can use those to work out the value of the unknowns. OK, so if you'd now l like to have a go at the question and pause the video, and I'll go over the answers shortly. OK. For part A, we're told that when we divide this function by x plus 2, the remainder is negative 150. So I can use, use that by saying, well, if I put a negative 2 into this function, I get negative 2 cubed plus negative 2 squared times by c take away 2d take away 12 and the answer to that is going to be negative 150 so um, simplifying we'll have minus 8 plus 4c take away 2d take away 12 is equal to minus 150 and now um, minus a take away 12 so that's going to be negative 20 so I'm going to add 20 to both sides so that's going to be 4c take away 2d is equal to negative 130 um, and I've just realized I wanted to make that equal to 0 so I'm going to add this 130 to both sides so that's going to be 4c take away 2d plus 130 equals 0 and if I um, a 2 is a common factor of all of this so I can divide by 2 so that's going to be 2c take away d plus 65 equals 0 as required over here okay so that's part A for 3 months part B and we're given that this is a factor we want to find another equation involving C and D so this time we're going to have this um, so that's going to be 3 cubed plus 3 squared times by C plus 3D take away 12 and because it's a factor that's going to be equal to 0 so that means 27 plus 9C plus 3d take away 12 equals 0 
so we're going to have 15 plus 9c plus 3d and I've just subtracted that 12 from there equals 0 and um, I'm going to write it in a similar form to this so I've got c, d and then that so um, I'm going to have and um, 3 is a common factor so that's going to be 3c that's going to be um, plus d and that's going to be um, 15 divided by 3 which is 5 equals 0 okay so um, this is our other equation involving c and d 3c plus d plus 5 is equal to 0 now um, part c Um, we're, said, we're told by solving these two equations we need to find the values of C and D. So I'm just going to write down the equations again just so we can see clearly what's going on. So we've got 2C take away D plus 65 is equal to 0 and I'm going to have 3C plus D plus 5 equals 0. So what we're going to do is we're going to solve these equations simultaneously so um, I'm going to aim to eliminate the d's so actually by adding these equations together 2c and 3c is going to give me 5c and negative d plus d will cancel each other out 65 plus 5 is going to give me 70 so I've got 5c plus 70 is equal to 0 which means 5c is going to be equal to negative 70 so c is going to be equal to negative 14 okay now that I know that c is negative 14 I can choose to substitute that back into one of these equations here so I'm going to substitute it into this top equation so that's going to be um, negative 28 take away d plus 65 equals 0 and I'm going to add d to both sides and I'm going to simplify this here so that's going to be d is equal to and that's going to be 37 so I've got c is equal to negative 14 and d is equal to 37 Okay, thanks very much for joining me for that video and I will see you again soon. Take care.